Hi, this is Samuel from Zoom, and I'm here to talk to you about the editing capabilities of the PodTrack P8. When you record with the P8, you always record a stereo mix of your podcast, but you also have the option to record individual tracks for each input. You can transfer these individual files to your computer to edit and mix them into a finished episode. But the P8 also has editing capabilities built right in. It allows you to edit and combine your stereo files into a finished episode. Let's check out what you can do. To start, press the microphone icon on the top left of the touchscreen. This will show you a list of all of the stereo files on the SD card. There's a preview button to the right of each file to preview it in your headphones. Once you've found the file you want to edit, select it. The first option you have is to trim the file. This allows you to cut the beginning or end of the clip. Move the beginning and end adjustments to the desired trim points. If you need to hear the file, simply press the play button. You can hit it again to pause the play bar or stop to send it back to where you started playing. Once you have your trim point set, hit execute. The P8 will ask you if you want to create a new file. If you create a new file, the original file will be kept. If you do not select create a new file, the original file will be deleted. The next option is split. This allows you to divide the file into two clips. Pick the point to split the file and hit execute. The next two options are a fade in or fade out. These insert a gradual volume increase at the beginning of your clip or a gradual volume decrease at the end. This will help smooth out the beginning and end of your clip. The next is an option to add background music. When you select this option, you can select either the whole or part of the clip to add background music. Adjust where you want the background music to begin and end, then hit the plus button to pick the file you want to add. After you select the file, you can listen and adjust the volume of the background music. Next is a loudness normalization option. Basically, normalizing raises the volume of the clip without affecting relative levels. Bringing up the volume of all of your clips will help equalize the volume of all of them so they sound coherent. For this option, simply select it, then hit execute. This is a good operation to do on a finished episode as well. You have a few more options on this screen. You can change the icon or color of your file. This can help you keep organized. You can also star files to mark them for later use. You can also delete files from this screen. If you want to assign the clip to a sound pad, simply hit the sound pad button to assign it to one of the pads. You can also export to an MP3, which is a much smaller file size, but will affect the sound quality. If you have multiple clips that you want to combine into a full episode, you can click the combine function on the file list screen. Select the clips you want to use in the order that you want them and hit combine. You can further edit this full episode or transfer it off the P8 for publishing. There's a lot more to learn about the P8, so check out our other videos and visit our website, zoomcorp.com. Good luck and enjoy creating.